And so that's uh, Fredemus' son, the famous Fredemus' son. And he's got a fantastic voice. I really, really hope. As a vocalist of the year, but help me with, uh, with it. Uh, He's got a nomination in the Well, I wouldn't be surprised. VGMAs. Listening to him, I wouldn't be surprised if he had that nomination. And uh, take it all. Wonderful message to kick start the morning. Good morning, Mama V. Yeah, hi. Good morning. Uh, talking about music, there was the Ghana Music Award experience over the weekend, and we will relive that later on here on our show. There's something also uh, that, that's, that's on my heart, which is the issue of the conjoined twins. We've shared the story with you, but the time has come for us to contribute to help them out. We will, you know, show you those pictures again. Uh, this is costs when issues like that come up and one family can't take it alone. This is, uh, the time has come really for all of us to be there for this family. So I really do hope that when the, the specialist explains the condition and what it will take, all of us can come together. There you have it. Uh, so the babies were born, joined together. They must be separated and we need to help the family out. That conversation is later on here on our show, Ben. You know what warms my heart about that entire situation? Of course, usually I've heard of some conjoined twins, Siamese twins who have been uh, you know, separated in the past, but the community, when you watch the piece put together by Kojo Yangson and how they, they rallied around the family, that for me warmed my heart. And I guess that is what we're asking for, that all of us rally around uh, the family so that they can separate these beautiful uh, twins. It's particularly delicate because of mm. where they are joined. Yeah. And, uh, we can only pray for the very best uh, for them. Well, before we get into the newspapers, it's the big day for our producer, Derek Echo. Sam is his birthday today. We want to wish him a happy, happy birthday. He's got a huge hat and he takes a lot, particularly from me. It's been many years working together. And I think we've crossed the bridge of producer, presenter, we are a family. So to my friend, Derek, of course, some as you celebrate your birthday. Oh. <laughs> From your dad, your mom, your sisters, your wife, Anita, on behalf of all of us here at the multimedia group, particularly at Joy News, we love you, Akol. We wish you a fantastic birthday today. Do all, okay? Do all. Everything. <laughs> anyway, so what you said, uh -huh. you could be a pain. That makes two of us. <laughs> and of course, he has to deal with us. We, if you know what goes into production, we fight, we shout, we, we deliberate, we do so many things. But in the end, we cook for you the show that you see, uh, you watch on your TV screens every morning. And that's him right there. Fine guy, fine gentleman. But... I have some, I wish he were here, would have done it Vandal Hall, you know, Commonwealth Hall style, Vandal style. Um, I, I think from here we can, uh, since we've started with birthdays, we just might um, take the others as well. It's also a, a happy birthday to Basil Ahiable, uh, MD of Jet Petroleum. Basil Ahiable, MD of Jet uh, Petroleum. And it's from all of us here at the Multimedia Group uh, Limited. We wish you. A very happy uh, birthday. We'll would leave the last one for later. There's a reason I'm doing that, because we want to get some stunning photos as well. Another member of our team. But let's dig into the papers uh, now. And I'll start with the Daily Guide newspaper. Five Gimpa robbers grabbed one shot. And this story has been trending. It's got a lot of people talking. There was someone who was sharing with me how... He was this close to getting, you know, uh, robbed by some of these people on the Gimpa stretch. Some claiming they had seen this gentleman who had, uh, you know, thrown a stone or whatever through uh, a Pathfinder vehicle. Well, that story is on page three of the Daily Guide. Robbers on rampage and then attack near police headquarters. That story on the day when there were three daylight robberies in a row around the pig farm roundabout. In Hanisako, the, the Forex Bureau there, and again around Afrikiko, all on the same day. Railway thief busted, no Hajj for Ghana and others. That's on page six of the newspaper. Just a snippet from there. 
and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has for the second consecutive year announced the cancellation of Hajj for foreign pilgrims. Only 60,000 Saudi citizens and residents of all nationalities in the kingdom will be permitted to perform the annual religious uh, rituals. The Saudi Ministry of Foreign Affairs through its Ministry of Hajj and Umrah has attributed the restriction of pilgrims to challenges in controlling crowds during an era of the COVID-19 pandemic. And that's what it means for our Muslim brothers and sisters. Unfortunate, but uh, the wait must continue. AG backs justice for all. That's on page three. You can check out the details. When you go to the entertainment page, uh, spread actually, page eight and uh, page nine, Music in my days was understandable. And this too has got a lot of people talking. Pa George to uh, musicians, 84-year-old, and he, he has expressed discomfort and lack of enthusiasm for today's Ghanaian music, suggesting a majority of the music being churned out lately lacked understanding. Uh, he was speaking in an interview on Atinka uh, TV and made mention of that. That, you know, sometimes a lot of what people say nowadays in music, you can't even hear, you can't understand. Then there's why I apologized to my lesbian daughter. Check out that one. A popular Nigerian musician and good governance expert, Charles Okuta. On the back page of the paper, Euro 2020, Ericsson suffered cardiac arrest. And we'll bring you more of that as Muftal brings you sports later this morning. Ghana ready to host Africa. Baumia proposes National Fitness Day. And looking at the levels of obesity, I would say... Very fitting. That's it with the Daily Guide newspaper. So let's continue with the Daily Graphic newspaper. And on the front page, textbooks printing goes local minister stresses outside publishing not permitted. Uh, that's good, except that I'm wondering, do the children even have textbooks right now? Because that's been an ongoing conversation. Uh, also on the front page, Green Ghana project to be institutionalized, according to Samoa Abdullahi Jinnapo, Minister of Lands and Natural Resources. Also, there's the census listing of structures begin. ADB, DBG must team up to promote a Greek, according to Otun for Asante Hini. On page 20, an industrialist, Mr. Tony Otin Jesse, has called for legislation to limit the amount in damages contractors and the government can claim in the event of uh, default or breach of a public sector contract. That's interesting. Let's check out what's in the center spread of the paper. Common fund projects uh, or common fund projects given facelift to three new regions and others in pictures. There's a news feature in the center spread of the paper on the back page though hearts open three points lead and i'm talking about the great hats of oak phobia uh as ante kotoko says wait for us we're not waiting for anybody we're on top of the league still and we are still very fantastic the boys are good uh phase are ash good return to winning ways as well so 53 points Accra hearts of oak on top of the local league table that's it for the daily graphic newspaper i guess for the highlights in terms of what's on the back and front page well thankfully that's not it for uh, the ghana premier league table and as we go on we'll see uh, smoothness level we'll see how it it, it it all comes down the daily dispatch ncc research into violent extremism in ghana's border regions is out and that's something we've been uh, talking about throughout last week Focus on housing conditions in former Volta region as per 2010 census. And this one, which really uh, gets my attention. Great Accra Minister to MMDCEs present your GCP or GGP report in three months. And it's all about greening Ghana. So the Green Ghana Project, and they are supposed to present their reports. You would notice that uh, on the day, I think it was the 11th, we had a lot of institutions, a lot of uh, big personalities, you know, contributing their quota here at Multimedia, uh, we did the same. And check out this one on the back pages of the paper, Stray Animals, a Challenge to National Tree Planting Exercise. That's according to Professor Gordon. So side by side with that, while we talk about planting more uh, trees and even moving from 5 million to 10 million because of the patronage, we also ought to consider this bit about uh, you know, stray animals and what they could do to those 
young trees. That's it with the Daily Dispatch. Let's do the Ghanaian Times on the front page. 2021 population and housing census. Counting of houses begins. No standby generator at Kaswa Mother and Child Hospital. Doctors forced to use touch light phone lights for deliveries, operations during power outage. CRI adopts GCLMs to monitor child labor in cocoa growing communities. Farmer allegedly kills brother at Kenya State number two. On page three, the police in separate op operations shot a suspected robber and arrested four others on the Gimpa Fiesta Royal Road in Accra. Uh, also, a forest guard of the Forestry Commission has killed himself when a rifle he was holding went off and blew his head at Kumewu Wono in the Citri, Kumewu district of the Ashanti. That's a very sad incident. Trader gets eight years for stealing four-year-old girl. The Adenta Circuit Court has sentenced a trader to eight years imprisonment for stealing a four-year-old girl at Amrahia in the Greater Accra region. Michael Dodu Brown pleaded guilty to a charge of child stealing and the court presided over by Mrs. Sedinam Awu Bal uh, Baluka convicted him on his own plea. Also, teacher granted 60,000 Ghana cities bill for defiling 11-year-old girl. And the story about the farmer is a 40-year-old farmer, Yao uh, Ampate. He's alleged to have killed his younger brother, Kwabna Chire, 38, with a club at Kenya Sin No. 2 in the Ahafu region on Friday. And according to police, the suspect committed the crime in retaliation for a wrongful accusation of having a hand in the death of their mother, which occurred in 2013. Uh, center spread essentially details of the front page headlines. So let's do the back page. Kotoko face spirited and spirited is in quote. Spirited into allies today. Good luck to them. Not we'll that shatter, we'll not shatter that those <laughs> spirits, whatever they are. Not that we, we wish them luck anyway. Uh, Ghana oh, Cote d'Ivoire. You are wishing them luck. <laughs> Ghana Cote d'Ivoire shares spoils in friendly. Sharks beat 11 wonders as Faisal shock only. That's it. All right. Uh, that's it for the Ghanaian Times newspaper. Let's quickly do the Republic Press, or Republic Press to be more uh, correct. Police begin investigation into breach of COVID-19 safety protocols at Sir John's funeral. And I really wait to see what happens from here. That's on page six of the paper. Fully loaded cargo. And you wait for a long time. Uh, I, I know, but at least... You wait you, forever, you never know. actually. You know, you know, interestingly, how many people would have thought that, I mean, would have a response? You know, the, the last time Dafia Makbo, Honorable uh, Member of Parliament for South Dine, was here, he actually mentioned a few things that are not meant to be put out there when it comes to the national security strategy. But who would have felt that even in the last three decades we would have that? We do have it, and they are trying to. So who knows? That's who knows? this one, dear. Mm. Fully loaded. I saw what they were about, crowd. Fully <laughs> loaded cargo truck skids off Kwame Nkrumah interchange flyover and crashed into rails. This one was a horrif uh, you know, horrifying one. From Eric's diary, burning of Galamsey excavators, my president did not say what he read. That's on page 13 of the paper. But this one is the banner headline, Danger on Wheels, Pragya, a neglected epidemic, no insurance on tricycles. And I'll bring you that, I'll, I'll, no matter how much uh, I'm able to bring you, I'll try to bring you details of this. Okada accidents increase as Kolibu admits 40 motorcycle emergencies daily, and the minority is saying abrogate Sputnik V uh, contract immediately. A few quick ones from the international front. Israel's Netanyahu poised to lose power to new government. And guess what? With the new coalition, he's going to be ousted. After he has 12 been ousted, years. actually. Well, but because he's <laughs> constituting this, you, you might say, uh, just to move out. But they have a razor thin majority. That's what interested me. It's, it's akin to our parliament. The majority is by one. one. Yeah. And yeah. I just felt, wow. Look at what is happening across parliaments, you know, the Knesset, uh, to be specific, in Israel. There are people and who are worried about the coalition, though, if it's going to be able to withstand uh, all the, if, if the you, differences. If you've taken a look yeah. at their, their history in recent times and the different coalitions, there's going to be trouble. Yeah. I mean, not, I, it's not to wish them that. But some people but are optimistic, It's by like the a way. rainbow parliament. Mm. Mm. With so many different... Some people have said, you know what, don't tack 
touch the geopolitical stuff, you know, the things that naturally divides us, and then you'll be fine. But can you say you won't talk Iran? I can't. <laughs> uh, this one as well, DR Congo COVID spike delays uh, return of Patrice Lumumba's tooth. And I just had to mention this because his, his remains were expected in DR Congo. And you know, the only remains that were coming from Belgium is a tooth. Mm. That's, that's the only bit left of Patrice Lumumba that was uh, supposed to be brought home. Uh, finally, uh, on, in the middle spread, actually, not finally, in the middle spread of the paper, adolescents educated on how to build confidence. I am all for this. It can also cater uh, you know, to some of what we see nowadays with young people, depression, suicide, and the rest. And no bail yet for caregiver held over baby's death. You remember that story. On the back page, six-unit classroom block left to rot. Chiefs, residents call for uh, completion. This is in Ajamaso, Ajamaso in the Bekwai municipality in the Ashanti region. That's it for Republic Press. Bekwai, that's the first deputy speaker's constituency, isn't it? But this is Bekwai, uh, Ajamaso. I don't know whether it necessarily mm. falls within that his point. jurisdiction. Okay. Just to be. Mm. All right, let's do the final newspaper. Here's what's on the front page. Uh, World Bank supports Ghana with $200 million to procure COVID-19 vaccines. You know, all the issues surrounding the Sputnik uh, V, issues that have come up by way of uh, procurement. And listening to the details and the correspondence that have gone on, uh, there were a lot of revelations on news file this weekend, uh, also on the probe last night. And you're wondering, like, seriously, in 2021, we still do this to ourselves. So the guy's ties to the Ameri deal. <laughs> the guy's ties to the Ameri deal in there. This is the famous shake, isn't it? The fact that, <laughs> the fact that he's an ex-convict, uh, whether we did our due diligence... The WHO, you know, what had that profit about going to source? If you, you can't go to source, do your due diligence on <laughs> middle people and all of that. Well, it is what it is. But we've been told we've even done well because we could have got it for $25 and we beat it down to <laughs> $19. Okay, you with all the surrounding issues. But we just hope that that does not impact on people's acceptance of the vaccines, you know. Here we are with people breaching the protocols, even people who put it in place. So some people already think that, Charlie, COVID, nah, it won't do me nothing. So will they be willing to take the vaccine? I hope that these conversations in terms of the procurement and the things that we could have done and we didn't do, the things that are not clear, will not feather, uh, you know, stop people from even getting near the vaccines. Do, the do you know what's worse than getting the vaccines at the price we're getting them? Mm -mm. Not, oh, not if, if people don't consume Charlie, it. If, if, if we buy it at that price and people don't take it, it. and you say, yeah. la yeah. no, so I will encourage people to take it if we are getting it at that cost. All right, uh, other stories. Uh, three firms to supply over 20 million COVID 19 vaccines, just the issue that we've been uh, talking about. But I guess Ghanaians would need to know how the deals are going down in terms of. Uh, accountability and openness. On page five, though, uh, Wiala Noella, the Afro pop singer and songwriter, she's actually a goodwill ambassador for the child labor concert. Uh, she's been speaking. She's urged parents to take the responsibility of taking care of their children in a good, healthy, and acceptable way to help eradicate child labor in Ghana. She's got some very good stuff to say details of, uh, of all of that on page five and then parliament urged to pass community service bill that's also on page five stakeholders at a round table on the need for ghana to consider non-custodial sentences in cases of misdemeanor have called on parliament to pass the community service bill is a non-custodial law to help decongest the prisons and make them more effective they've also appealed to the ministry of interior to exert pressure on parliament for the passage okay i think that's it i'll i'll just go quickly back to republic press there's something that skipped my mind and it's on page nine gayism is the order of the day in prison ex-convict makes shocking revelations and uh we'll leave <laughs> it there the Ghanaian publisher Accra minister to motorbike riders register and acquire riding license before July. 
And this matter has come and come and come. We, we even spoke about uh, legislating on it. Let's see what happens to this one. Government determined to restore lost forest, uh, lost forest, I should say. That is according to His Excellency the President. And he is pictured watering uh, the tree he planted just last Friday. Otum for Lords ADB for refocusing on agri sector and Supreme Court rules for Top Kings Enterprises Limited. 21 years, uh, 21 year litigation with Empire Builders. Uh, more stories in the middle spread. Police, police petitions, Forestry Commission over Achimota Gimpa Road lighting. And that's it for uh, that paper. Can you imagine that uh, this issue of the Gimpa situation has been there for a very long time? I remember people's uh, laptops for those of us who were near that road for about three years i mean we we're very familiar with all yeah. the stories and police now appealing for street lights like authorities don't know and they have to be reminded by the police that provide street lights i mean it's 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 an issue really all right uh, let me do the custodian i think that's the no let me do the today newspaper first uh, ghana premier league we want equal treatment who says that for all participating clubs that's the management of elmina based football club the fearsome elmina sharks fc they're unhappy about what the club terms a selective justice within the umbrella football organizing body the ghana football association more of that massive demo to hit government according to Kwesi Pratt's uh, and you've no idea the harm that the receiver is causing banks and other financial institutions the paper is advertising uh, that details of that coming up and the beauty and the beast of NDC at 29 beauty and the beast is in quotes well you might want to read it as well uh, that's how the front page of the today newspaper looks like today you're done? Okay, so you mentioned front page, so I thought you were just... Uh, let's do BNFT. Fertilizer smuggling to Togo, Burkina Faso, threatens PFJ uh, progress, that is planting for food and jobs. There is miners advocate exploration incentive. And this one in the middle spread of the paper that I'd urge you to check out, it provides a lot of food for thought. Open data journalism making stories better. Uh, it's a bit of a comparative analysis of traditional journalistic work and uh, open data journalism and how it's impacting uh, stories. You can check out details of that in the middle spread of the paper. It's actually on page 25. On the back page, 13 million people to receive COVID-19 vaccination. And uh, Rosie Ebe Arthur appointed to FBN Bank Board. That's it with the B and FT, my final paper. All right, last one for me is the custodian. And on the front page, you'd find this story. The Ghana National Household Registry has completed its household data collection exercise in the northern savannah and northeast regions. And the figure they give is 487,678 in the three regions. Uh, also, uh, you know, Ghana, Okay, Ghana is expected to use her new role. And what is her new role? Uh, the United Nations Security Council, it's been elected onto the council. But what uh, the front page says, Ghana joins UN Security Council for Global Peace. And the story says that Ghana is optimistic that the country's election to the United Nations Security Council will be a major boost for efforts to contain security risk in the West African sub-region while contributing to the agenda for global security. That's my pick in the Custodian newspaper today. All right, so let's settle for some of the details and I'm going to uh, highlight this one. Danger on wheels, Pragya, a neglected epidemic, no insurance on tricycles. It's in Republic Press. And the story it reads, activities of commercial tricycle operators known as Pragya have increasingly become a threat to residents of Kaswa and its environs, therefore leaving the government with a daunting task of restoring sanity to the community. Samuel uh, Frimpong uh, writes, named after Pragya, a popular star in an Indian TV series, Kunkumbajia. Tricycles, uh, these tricycles have become a major means of transportation. But when he delve further into um, the story, it talks about how so it has limited crashworthiness. 
and at a crash speed as low as 30 kilometers per hour, the occupants are at risk of severe injury should there be any accidents. This risk of severe injury to the occupants is further increased by being an open vehicle without safety devices such as uh, seat belts. There's also the bit about the reckless overspeeding of some of these uh, drivers meandering through the traffic and all of that. Although their activities are illegal, these operators have secured a station behind the Kaswa police station where about 500 tricycle riders ply their trade on a daily basis without any questions from the police MTTD or road safety authorities. And uh, this paper found out that Pragya drivers are mainly young males, including foreigners with a low level of education who are ill-prepared and ill-equipped for the road. So why will we not have more and more accidents, more and more of these incidents? Mm -hmm. I just had to highlight that because sometimes we go, oh, it's a problem, it's a problem. Now who caused that? Mm. Mm. All right, uh, so you're done? I'm done with. Okay. I want us to do myjoeonline.com. I want to talk about the top headline on myjoeonline.com because uh, it became very topical and I'm talking about the question that uh, m a member of parliament, Okujeto Ablakwa, uh, said he had uh, posed and that the defense minister was expected sometime to come and answer the question related to how much the president spends uh, or spends in his recent travels. Uh, there was a figure that was giving about 2.8 million Ghana cities uh, that we were told he had spent allegedly on a trip instead of using the presidential jet. Well, uh, the story on my jawline says that Parliament this week is expecting the defense and finance ministers uh, to respond to questions on what the minority claims is misuse of about 2.8 million Ghana cities by the presidency for the hiring of private jet for foreign travels. So uh, good news. That will be cleared because we haven't received any official response. And this will be it. Hopefully we can get to the bottom of this. But my understanding is we actually don't have a private, uh, a presidential jet. What we have is an executive uh, jet, which caters for a lot more things beyond the presidency. And also the fact that it is pretty small. Uh, well, Mavi, so what, is, what is more important? <laughs> His Excellency the President is the first gentleman of the land. And no matter what it caters for, if the president has a pressing need, guess who has, you know, prime of place. It must be Mr. President, right? And we saw him when he traveled recently to Burkina Faso on the back of, you know, the, the, the insurgent activity there. We saw him use that aircraft. So I don't know about this bit, but whatever it is, I feel they should remedy it. This is not the first time we are having some talk about, uh, you know, a, a presidential flight or whatever, jet. But I think it's something that we really need to sit down as a country, sort it out once and for all, so we can avert all of these matters of ubi edisika, ubi peso yewe, and we are spending so much. Look, let's face the facts. What we heard of recently in that luxurious, uh, I keep forgetting the, um, the name of uh, the airplane. There's this as something. The, 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 the pictures that, uh, yes, that Ablaka that put out by. on Facebook. But, but I'm saying that, I mean, for me, there's no way of justifying such, uh, and I'll put it bluntly, profligacy. I feel that for a country in the straits, economic straits in which we find ourselves, if, if you were Ghana, would you spend like that? Would you do some of those things? So my point simply is, let's remedy the situation so that if you have it there, it's not about which party and the wranglings. Just come and use this. This is what we have. That is what you must use. Mm. The issue, though, is that, I mean, I, I think that usually is clouded with all the... Uh, partisan politics. So depending on where you are at any point in time, your position will change. That's the problem. We need Air to Force, be truthful. Air Force One is we Air need Force to be One. Truthful. If you come, uh, Air Force One is Air Force One. The presidential vehicle, uh, what back then under Obama, the beast that did, hey, if you now, you go use them. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we, we look forward to that this week. Uh, but of course, we can't say it's a wrap without wishing one of our own. But let's do the rest of the stories on myjoeonline.com <laughs> that you can check out. Uh, I'm just into what is coming, really. All right, so there's a playback uh, of the probe with MFR Power. If you missed it yesterday, you can catch up 
on myjoyonline.com. Uh, there's also this. People are using COVID-19 to engage in grand corruption, according to Kofi Bentle. And I hope that uh, the parliamentarians will raise this issue as well so we can get a lot more clarity uh, on exactly what contract we have signed uh, and what we can cannot do. Police petitions Forestry Commission for lightning on Achimota Gimpa Road. It has come to that now. There are plenty of other stories, including TUTAC uh, proceeding with strike action despite NLC order. And that call is for the strike to begin today, 14th of June, in spite of what the NLC has said they should do. Come to the table and not call a strike action. What can the NLC do? I guess that will all unfold later today. But Razak Lari is one of our own. He's a camera technician, a fantastic guy, really. And when we say fantastic, I mean, it doesn't mean that it is all good. I've had my days with Razak, but he's one of the <laughs> genuine, like, he would tell you to the face, that's him. And we love you, Razak. Happy, happy birthday to you as you celebrate your birthday today. There he is. And I guess after you've worked with him a few times, you will choose him over many others. That's how big a heart he has for the work that he does. Happy birthday, Razak. I call him Razakito. <laughs> and you know why I'm always going to remember the gentleman who's actually behind the camera that's shooting me? Yeah. When I started my work here in this group. Uh, some of the very first stories I covered with fires, especially at Odona and the rest. Was Guess who you? was with me? When the NDC was marching all the way through Adabraka and da, da, da. Guess who was with me? It was he's, he's a wonderful yeah. person. We laugh, we cry together, we work together, we shout when there are issues, but he's, like, happy birthday. He's crazy on the field. You have to tell him, I was like, it's okay, the, the shot is enough. <laughs> Let's go. Otherwise, you spend the whole time there. Uh, listen, happy, happy birthday to you, Razak. Enjoy the day today. Uh, it's also your birthday, Basil Ahiable, MD Jet Petroleum. It's from all of us here at the Multimedia Group. If it's your birthday, you haven't heard your name. We love you. We wish you a happy birthday. Have a fantastic day. You're lucky. You share your birthday with our producer, Derek, called Sam, and also Larry Razak, a.k.a. Alaji. Stay with us. We've got sports to share with you here on the show.